Macho, macho man. He's gotta be a nacho man. Hey guys, it's Erin, registered dietitian, and today we are celebrating Father's Day, but not just today, June is also Men's Health Month. So what better way to celebrate dad or that special guy in your life than with some macho nachos. So to get you started, we're gonna start with lean ground beef. So today I'm using 93% great source of protein here and what we're going to do to actually bulk up the recipe a little more is we're using eight ounces of baby bella mushrooms so to get started we're just going to brown our beef and then add the mushrooms in now i did put the mushrooms in a food processor prior so as you can see the mushrooms look like ground beef so whether we're tricking dad here or maybe the kiddos this recipe is very family friendly. So I have my beef ground with my mushrooms and I did add a little bit of taco seasoning. Today I'm using McCormick 33% less sodium just to cut a little bit back on the sodium but still add the flavor. So after we have our beef cooked and ground, we are going to fill our sweet bell pepper nachos. These are going to serve as our tortilla chips so dad can party and pig out on his special day and still get that crunch but save on calories and carbs. So, just gonna take my beef and fill my little pepper boats here. I love these, especially in the summertime, for a lot of different things. I love them with guacamole, I love them with hummus. I also love them as pizza rolls. So I like to fill these bell peppers with pizza sauce and melted cheese. But today I figured, why not do nachos? It's Father's Day Fiesta, right? So I'm filling my bell peppers with my beef. I use a whole pound or a whole bag of bell peppers. And then we're gonna sprinkle some Mexican shredded cheese on top. I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees and stay tuned. All right, our bell peppers just came out of the oven. I wish you guys could smell them right now. Super yummy. On the next step, we're going to top our nachos with some diced red onion. The best thing about nachos, you can really customize these however you want. So if you didn't want to use beef, you can use ground turkey, ground chicken. Um, if you don't want red onion, use white onion. We're going to then add some cilantro. I love cilantro just to make it a little more authentic, have that real pop. Now in the recipe, it does say to make an avocado cream for the sauce. If we want a little shortcut today, we're actually gonna use Bowl House Farms. They have a salsa ranch. This stuff is the bomb. Um, we're gonna use this just as a nice dipping option for dad. I'm gonna just kinda put it on top of our nachos here. All right. Or if dad's more into sour cream, Chobani has this product called Chobani Saver. Basically, it's your Greek yogurt in a squeezable tube. No more needing to open a single Greek yogurt cup and then have it stay in the fridge and get kind of watery and separated. So you can use this um, to squeeze out what you need. Maybe a dollop right in the middle there. And you're good to go. Now, if this is too much bell pepper for dad, you can always enjoy your nachos still with some tortilla chips. There are some healthier ones out there, bean meatos. These are a bean-based tortilla chip. Great source of protein, great source of fiber. Love the ones with the hint of lime, just for an extra pop. Or if you don't want to go too crazy, just the white ones are normal too. Blue corn would be another great option. Um, but at the end of the day, customize your nachos, have a happy Father's Day, and pair it the cold one. For the recipe to these macho nachos, check out hivy.com or eatrightiowa.org. Happy Father's Day, guys!